Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about project templates in Middleman. So, a project template is basically just a collection of files, or you know, it could be like CSS files, or JavaScript files, or you know, HTML files that you download as the default project structure when you create a new Middleman project. So, normally, when you create a Middleman project, and I'm just going to create one right now as a demonstration. I could say middleman init and then we give it the name that we want. So we'll just say test. So normally when you create a middleman project, it'll create this test folder in our case and it has all these default files in it, right? So it has this images folder, it has this site.javascript file, it has this default style sheet and this default layout. So this is all just stuff that gets generated automatically for us. And if we serve up this website, so I'm just going to test and you'll notice that by default, this also has like a specific look and feel. So it's like this yellow background and then all the contents in the center. That's kind of like the theme that we're given by default. But imagine that instead of just using this default layout, maybe you wanted to download a more complex layout, right? So maybe you wanted your website's template, your website's theme to be a little bit more complex, to look different. Maybe you'd want it to have like a header or like a footer and be able to like accommodate your content. Or maybe, you know, you don't even care about how the website's styled. Maybe you wanted your project template to support a certain language or to support a certain like package manager or to have a certain folder structure by default. In other words, like imagine you wanted your project template to just be different than the default one. Well, there's actually a way that you can do that in Middleman and it's by using project templates. So I'm going to head over to my web browser and I have opened this page. It's directory.middlemanapp.com. And over here, I've clicked on this templates tag. Basically, this is a page that just lists out all of the different templates, all the different project templates that we can use inside of our um, middleman project. So in other words, when I would go to create a new middleman project, instead of using that default project template, I could use one of these templates that are defined. And these can be, you know, like I said, things like themes, or they can support different things. So for example, like you can click on these options up here, bootstrap, like this is a template that, you know, includes support for Hamel, SAS, Compass, jQuery, bootstrap, font, OS, you know, there's a bunch of different things up here, a bunch of different templates that you can look at and use. So, you know, what you should do is just kind of scroll through and find, you know, a template that catches your eye and you can filter your different options up there and basically just, you know, see what looks good. And then when you find one that you like, you can actually download it. So this is a, a template that I was looking at before. It's actually pretty cool. So I can click on the template that I want to download. And generally what it's going to do is bring you to a GitHub page. So what you want to do before you do anything else is read this readme.markdown file, because this is going to give you all of the information that you need to know in order to use this template. And then down here we have like installation instructions and it's, you know, talking about all the different things you can do with your theme. So when you find a template that you want to use, we want to, I'm actually just going to copy this and we want to head over to our text editor here. And now when I want to create my new project, instead of just typing in middleman init, so instead of just init, I'm actually going to include some additional options. So it's going to be middleman init, and then you want to put in this T flag right here. And then it's going to say, obviously, like, this is the, you know, the username of the GitHub user, and then the name of the project that they had. And so, and then I can also type in like the name of the folder. So I could say this is just cactus. So when I click enter, instead of middleman creating what it did in this test folder, which is like this default set of files, it's going to create, you know, different files with like different stuff inside of them and like different default stuff. So now if I go to that cactus folder and I run the middleman server, instead of the website looking like this by default, it's now going to look like this. So we have a completely different theme to our website. So in other words, like, now when we created our project, instead of having that, you know, same old middleman theme that everyone's getting, we're getting something different. So when you're building your middleman website, you might want to consider like, 
what project templates can I use in order to get the effects that I want, right? It can save you a lot of work just using one of those default templates. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.